द टॉपिक इज गोसेस लॉ एंड द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ मैक्सुअल इक्वेशन वट इज गोसेस लॉ गोसेस लॉ स्टेट दैट द टोटल इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स साई थ्रू एनी क्लोज सर्फेस इज इक्वल्स टू द टोटल चार्ज इनक्लोज बाई दैट सर्फेस हियर वी कंसिडर अ क्लोज सर्फेस and inside that closed surface we consider a charge enclosed with some charge and due to that charge there creates a electric flux so the total electric flux through any closed surface is equals to that charge enclosed so this is called a gauss's law and the mathematical representation is this one equation 1 that is psi equals to total charge enclosed that is equals to closed surface integration d dot ds to understand the gauss's law we consider a positive charge situated at the origin now since this is a positive charge so the electric field was net from the this positive charge and terminate to infinity in all the direction now we assume a closed surface since the charge is spherical in shape so we consider a assumed closed surface now on that on this closed surface we first assume a small differential surface ds which is at the distance of r small r now this differential surface ds has a direction the direction is normal vector normal unit vector now due to this charge there is an electric field intensity at at this point ds and this electric field intensity is equals to q upon 4 pi epsilon not r square in the direction of unit vector r now this unit vector r is the is in the normal direction same as normal direction so this is the formula of electric field intensity due to charge q at at the point ds now from here we can also find the electric field density d d vector d vector is nothing but epsilon not e electric field intensity into epsilon not so we take this with electric field intensity so the remaining part is q upon 4 pi r square in the direction of r so the electric field intensity and electric flux density is toward the same direction that is towards unit vector r and unit vector r and unit ve normal vector is same so this first equation is a gauss's law now we prove it we we can prove it so here we first calculate the integration part right hand side that is closed surface integration d dot ds so first we take a dot product d dot ds vector d dot vector ds now the electric flux density the formula is q upon 4 pi r square in the direction of r and the ds vector is magnitude of ds vector and its direction so the direction of ds is normal normal in vector now since the normal in vector is equals to unit vector r because both are in the same direction from this figure now here we the dot product is in between unit vector r means same vector 
so the angle between them is 0 so the dot product of the same vector is 1 so we get q into ds upon 4 pi r square now to um, get the equation 1 we integrate both sides integrate with both sides means we take a closed surface integration on both sides so q upon 4 pi r square is a constant and the inti closed surface integration of ds the closed surface integration of ds is 4 pi r square because this is a closed sphere and the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r square so 4 pi r square is cancelled with numerator and denominator and we get only q so this closed surface integration d dot ds is equal to q and what is closed integration d dot ds it is a flux so we we get a total electric flux through any closed surface equals to the total charge enclosed by that surface now now we know that q equals to volume integration rho v into dv since this q this charge q its shape is spherical and it acquires some volume so the total charge enclosed is also equals in is also written in terms of volume charge density rho v into dv with volume integral so this equation second equation is in terms of volume integration and closed surface integration now when there is a closed surface integration means when there is a closed surface and closed surface defines some volume and this is applicable for divergence theorem now using divergence theorem the divergence theorem is the relationship between closed surface integration and volume integration here the vector is d so the surf closed surface integration d dot ds is equals to divergence of that vector with volume integral now comparing equation 2 and 3 from equation 2 and 3 we get rho v is equals to divergence of vector d and this equation is a first form of Maxwell's four equations so there is introduction of Maxwell's first equation which is divergence of d is equals to rho v that means the volume charge density is same as divergence of the electric flux density now next is application of this Gauss's law Gauss's law is applied using this steps the first step is first we know whether symmetry exists if there is a symmetry then we apply a Gauss's law to calculate the electric field or electric field intensity capital E for this we construct a closed surface that is called Gaussian surface this is the assumed surface now at third point is uh, on this surface we chosen the electric flux density in normal or in tangential when the electric flux density d is in normal then the dot product of d dot ds is equals to d into ds because the electric flux density and ds having a same direction and the dot product of two unit vectors that is same is 1 if the electric flux density is tangential to this Gaussian surface means tangential means 
the angle theta is 90 degree. 90 degree means the angle between D and DS. The, uh, the direction of DS vector is always normal and if direction of D is tangential to that surface then the angle between these two vector is 90 degree. Then the dot product of these two vectors then having an angle 90 degree is equals to 0. So these are the steps to find the electric field intensity by using a Gauss's law. Gauss's law is used when there is symmetry exist. The first application is we apply a Gauss's law to find the electric flux density D in case of point charge. This is a simple way to determine the electric flux density. Now for this we consider a positive charge Q situated at the origin. Since this, this point charge Q is spherical in shape so we consider a Gaussian surface to be a spherical closed surface having a radius small r. Now on this Gaussian surface we consider a point P. At this point we get the electric flux density D. The direction of this electric flux density is towards a unit vector r. So this electric flux density D is equals to dr unit vector r because electric flux density has only dr component and at this point we consider small small differential surface ds and it is written as ds into unit vector r now the charge q is equals to closed surface integration d dot ds this is from gauss's law we apply a gauss's law now the dot product of this d dot ds is equals to dr unit vector r dot ds unit vector r. The dot product of same unit vector is 1. So we get dr closed surface integration of ds. Now the we know that the surface closed surface of a sphere having a surface area of 4 pi r square. This can also be calculated using a differential length in case of spherical coordinate system. In case of spherical coordinate system we know the differential length and here we, we know that this surface having a direction towards unit vector r. So by using the differential length we get a differential surface in the direction of unit vector r. And it is r square sin theta d theta d phi. So here we we take a integration with respect to theta and with respect to phi. The limit of theta is 0 to pi and the limit of phi is 0 to 2 pi. After calculating this double integration we get 4 pi r square that is the surface area of this. Gaussian surface. Now, dr is equals to q upon 4 pi r square. This is a magnitude term in terms of vector d. This is equals to q upon 4 pi r square in the direction of r. So, we can calculate the electric flux density simply by using a Gauss's law. We also calculate the electric field intensity capitally that is D upon epsilon naught. 